All right, so in today's video, what we're going to be uh, going over is the uh, coils that were used in the Mercury outboards, um, in the L3s, the L4s, all the way up to the L6s. And we're going to span the years from um, about 1967, 68. We're going to go all the way to the last year of the Inlons, um, 1988. And uh, this is the uh, one of the earlier coils uh, when the Thunderbolt first came out, um, 1967 to 1968. Um, and then around 76 to uh, 78, the last year when they had the uh, distributor models, they, uh, they upgraded upgraded to this coil here. And then 79, the advent of the ADI ignition, they went to uh, coil per cylinder. Um, since there would be uh, two coil banks uh, for one, one coil for each cylinder. So we're going to go over uh, basically how to test these and uh, just to make sure if they're good. Um, and we're just going to be doing the resistance test on these, which... You know, it's not 100% conclusive, but it'll get you real close, especially when you're trying to diagnose why you're having maybe uh, maybe ignition problems or uh, power problems, surges, anything like that. So that's what's coming next. Stay tuned. Okay. So for the first test, we're going to be testing the uh, the original coils um, from 1967 to 1976. Remember, this came out 76 to 78 before they went to the ADI ignition. Now, before you do any of the testing, what you want to do is disconnect, disconnect the coil completely. Um, you got your negative, positive, and then the tower. You want to pull the uh, the plug wire out, which the plug wire on both of these uh, very similar, looks exactly alike. They're just like these. Uh, they may be kind of hard to get out. Uh, just use a twisting motion, twisting and slowly pulling, and it should pop right out. Okay, so once you have the wires out, you want to test the, uh, the primary output first. Okay, and how we do that, uh, take the positive lead here to the positive wire. And this, you can either connect to the, to the power head ground if it's mounted or if it's completely taken out. You can just connect right here. And you should be getting about 0.1 to 0.2. Alright, 0.2. Okay, so now we're going to go with this one. This one should have the same reading, 0.1 to 0.2. Two. I don't know if I'm getting a good connection here. There we go. Point two. Point one. Okay. So now you want to test the uh, the secondary secondary output, and this is what actually goes to the uh, goes to the spark plug. So we're gonna put this in here. And these have kind of a deep. You really gotta reach in there, uh, or maybe an extension for this. But this one can actually fit. Okay. And then we're gonna hook it here. And I got nothing, nothing coming out of this one. Okay, let's test this coil. Okay, make sure it's having a good contact. In the negative terminal, you're looking for uh, 5700 to 7300. And right here I'm showing uh, 6600. So this coil is good, pass the test. This one has not passed the test. All right, so now we're gonna move on to the next. All right, so now moving on to the ADI ignition, ADI ignition coils. Okay, so we're going to test the primary first. Now between the terminals, uh, you have your positive to negative. You want a 0.2 to 1,000 ohms of resistance. All right, here's the first one. All right, All right that one looks good. Second one. All right, that one looks good. Third one. Let's go ahead and test all of them. Why not? What else are we doing? All right, that one looks good. All right, so now we're going to test the uh, the secondary output, and this was actually this is what actually goes to your cylinder. You want to connect the uh, positive to the tower. This is the uh, tower of the coil. Make sure you get a good connection on the inside there, and then connect this to the negative. And you want uh, 800 to 1100. That's 897, so that's good. Going over to here. Yeah, this one's just all over the place. Yeah, this one uh, not looking good. All right, let's go to the final one. See what we got down here. Yep, 
There we go. All right, so these two pass. This one's still in question. Again, looking for 800 to 1100 ohms of resistance. Make sure I'm getting a good connection here. I'm going to take this screw off. Okay, so in this test here, uh, these two coils passed and this coil right here failed. So if there was ignition problems, I would replace this coil and it's pretty easy how you can do that. See that just pops off and then this uh, slides in. You have to be careful not to mess up a rot. Let me see here. Oh yeah, it pops out just like that. You can just pop it out, maybe find one for uh, 10 and 20 bucks online and just slide it back in there like that. So if I were to reassemble the outboard, uh, let's see, I would not use this coil and I would not use the middle coil. Alright, well that concludes this uh, short tutorial on how to test the resistance on, uh, on your coils. If you have any questions, uh, put them in the comments. If not, thanks for watching.